Now we get on with uh, the first senior X30 heat. It's groups A versus D. Let's take you through the starting grid. This 10 minute plus an additional lap race. Clovis Nogohoid and Laura Saxa round out the front row. The 391, the only driver to get under 54 seconds in overall combined qualifying. Demo Outron and Marcus Gloom are on row two. Uh, Alessandro Tudisca and Sam Balota, the points leader, round out row number three. Charlie Gloom and Metis Marscout round out row four with uh, Milan Marczak and Tobias Norman rounding out the top ten on this 35 strong grid. Hugo Gelad, Connor Grant, Dinan de Vos, Lucas Horosica, Angelo Milly, Jack Buckley, Nicolas Simic, uh, Thomas Van Vliet, Thibaut Gelad and Rima Blanc round out the top 20. Jules Van Hul, Casper Norman, Rhys Newburn, Mirko Wouters, Thibaut Weyers, Luke Taylor, Florence Dirda, Emilio Van Offerberger, uh, Martin uh, Guilou and Kane Ince round out the top 30, completing the 35 strong Jero van Duivenvorde, Dennis Bowman, and Charlotte Antuho, Matteo van der Kerkhofer, and Livia Sampson. Ten minutes on the timer, plus an additional lap as the field goes on to its official formation lap. We'll have the uh, red lights igniting on the starting gantry very, very shortly, which they do now. So the so we've had the first couple of Junior X30 races in the bag. They will be back with us in action. Uh, tomorrow morning, of course, coming into this round in the championship, Sam Belota on 316 points. Henke Calteron, who took five successive straight wins in heats at uh, last time out at Osticourt at round two, 302. Noah Maton, 281. Alessandro Tedesca, 270 points. Dan Steeman, 259. Highest rookie, the 244 of Patrice Kowalski, who will be on the front row for a heat a little bit later on. And now it's all about getting these drivers 35 X30 seniors chomping at the bit, ready to go into battle for the first time. Of course, this is the halfway point of the season, but the qualifying heats are the lifeline to the finals tomorrow. And the thing is, out of 103 drivers, only 72 will take part in the respective finals. 36 in the A final, 36 in the B final, and the remainder we will have to say goodbye to. That will be 31 drivers having their weekend abruptly ended early tomorrow afternoon. So it's Nogahoid and Saxa on the front row as the field are at a crawl, coming out of the 12th and final corner here at the home of champions. Into the tram lines we go. Revs rise. Lights are out and we're underway. And a good start from Nugahoid as he leads the field into turns one and two at the opening tour. Saxa held out to dry as uh, Outon gets up the inside for second position and now takes the lead through turn three. Tudiska looking up the inside. He also gets through. So Outon up into the race lead. Tudiska is not going to try anything through turn number six. As three wide just at the bottom part of the top ten onto the famed Yurapolan. As they head down into turn six and seven to Disca with an absolutely demonic send up the inside of Clément Outon down into turn seven. Great way for Tudisca to start this weekend after a disaster at Osticourt last time out at round two. Oui, le départ très incisif de la part d'Alessandro Tudisca qui s'est emparé de la tête de la course en passant devant un certain Clément Outran à l'issue de la ligne droite d'Europe Alan. Alessandro Tudisca qui effectivement n'avait pas connu le meilleur des week-ends du côté d'Austricourt semble reprendre des couleurs ici. Lui qui avait réalisé un superbe week-end du côté de Marion Bourg en terminant notamment deuxième de la finale. Il était en confiance après ce rendez-vous. Malheureusement, ça ne s'est pas con confirmé à, à Austricourt, mais, euh, mais ici, il reprend déjà euh, du poil de, de la bête et il est euh, pour l'instant leader. Une bagarre ensuite euh, derrière, là dans le peloton, on voit que c'est très très serré avec euh, oh, un accrochage. Et qui a été impliqué là-bas euh... C'est le, le Pullman, c'est euh, Clovis euh, Nougraïd, il me semble, yeah. qui s'est fait euh, légèrement euh, toucher là-bas et qui est parti euh, en travers. Il a pu reprendre euh, sa, sa course dans la foulée, mais il a perdu perdu beaucoup de temps, le Pullman qui n'est donc pas à la meilleure fête en ce début de manche qualificative. Oui, c'est avec euh, l'accrochage avec euh, numéro 3, 54, euh, Charlie Glum qui a fait l'accrochage et l'incident, mais euh, ça passe en motorsport. Hein. 
Oui, c'est effectivement euh, quelque chose qui peut arriver en sport automobile et, euh, et notamment dans ces courses de, de karting, vous le disiez Alex, accrochage avec euh, Charlie Glum, numéro 354. La bagarre qui euh, se poursuit avec euh, oh, Sam Balota là, qui est euh, monté euh, pratiquement sur l'un de ses concurrents. Euh, là aussi, hein, pour euh, Sam Balota, ce n'est pas spécialement hyper euh, évident pour l'instant, alors que devant, eh bien, euh, on a deux, deux pilotes qui qui sont en train de, de s'échapper, là, il me semble. Et encore, c'est plus loin dans le classement. Hein. Yeah. Alessandro Tudisca euh, qui emmène derrière lui euh, Clément Outran. Et euh, le troisième pilote, c'est le Danois Loris Sachs. Oui, yeah, juste ahead de Sam Belote, il y avait Hugo Gelad dans uh, la victory lane entry, le 292, qui a moved up uh, six places very, very early on. Mais le top 3, um, c'est RSD. TB Cart and Falcon at the front end of the field. Alessandro Turisca are not quite getting away from uh, Clement Outran. Uh, Loris Saxer just puts in the new fastest lap of the race. No surprise there because he's behind the two, pushing the hole through the dirt. Yeah, 55.125. And the Dane again has gone purple in the opening sector and really has got the wind beneath his side pods at the moment. They are four and a half seconds ahead of Hugo Gelad. Uh, Marcus Gloom is now fifth. Uh, Metis Moscot now, well, Milan Maksak now up to sixth place. Sam Balota, Charlie Gloom, uh, Dylan DeVos, and Jack Buckley uh, now round out the top ten. We did see a cart stricken. There's been quite a few incidents as well. Uh, Lucas Horisica has dropped to the bottom of the field. So has Conor Grant, Thibaut Gelad, uh, Casper Norman, Rima Blanc, and uh, Martin uh, Guillou from France. So uh, again, we're just seeing a spate of early casualties here, Seymour. Uh, but the top three have really started to get into a rhythm. And that's quite important around here at Carton Gang. If you find that sweet spot where Cart and Driver working together well as one, if you're in the top three battle, well, any one of these three could win it. But I've seen it before, you've seen it before, where we've seen the top three battle. They're wanting to get one up on each other. And what happens between the distance when it comes to between third and fourth? It decreases over time and as laps and time count down you can bet your bottom dollar that Hugo Gelard who's moved up seven places so far from 11th on the grid will be chomping at the bits to try and close and has got Gloom, Mark Zach, Pelota, uh Charlie Gloom not too far behind, Jack Buckley up seven places from 16th on the grid now runs ninth. Oui, on vous parlait des remontées des différents pilotes. Attention à l'attaque de Clément Outron pour la première position. Et euh, c'est Alessandro Tudisca qui glisse à la deuxième place. Derrière, eh c'est toujours le Ritz euh, Sachs, le pilote danois qui est en troisième position. Alors on l'a vu dans les manches X30 Junior. Attention à ne pas aller s'accrocher. Le but de ces manches qualificatives, mm -hmm. c'est d'être régulier, c'est d'éviter les accrochages, c'est d'éviter les ennuis mécaniques. Car un problème peut vous faire perdre beaucoup dans l'aventure, il faut donc être euh, performant, ça c'est sûr mais il faut aussi euh, parfois réfléchir et euh, ne pas tout donner euh, dans les bagarres, ici euh, Clément Outran avait une ouverture, il en a profité et pour l'instant il est en train de creuser l'écart sur Alessandro Tudisca, dans ce cas-ci on peut dire que c'est euh, bien joué de la part du pilote français mais euh, effectivement euh, dans le chef d'Alessandro Tudisca euh, qui a déjà gagné euh, quelques positions euh, dans l'aventure ce serait euh, pas mal s'il pouvait euh, se contenter de cette deuxième position, en tout cas pas tenter le diable pour passer en euh, première position. Alors on a la bagarre ici euh, pour euh, les places d'honneur hein, en dehors du top 3 yeah. avec euh, notamment euh, Hugo Jaladé, Milan Marsac, Sam Balota, Marcus Glum, autant de pilotes qui peuvent encore euh, gagner l'une ou l'autre euh, position mais là aussi attention à l'accrochage, on n'est pas à l'abri euh, de cela. Alors que Sam Balota vient de passer euh, devant euh, le pilote euh, Victor Hélène. Ouais, il vient de passer en cinquième position et euh, devant c'est Milan Marsac, il me semble. Yeah, the good thing is about Bolota, he did honestly admit it's not my best track. He's leading the championship. He's got to be very, very calm, and he doesn't want to make any mistakes. And well, there is a bit of a bunch of X30 seniors together, uh, so that has allowed uh, Bolota to clear away into the distance as Charlie Gloom has got. Uh, Nogoid up the inside, it's three-way coming into turn number three, that's very, very close. And I have seen it where someone's been on the outside, they've been hung out to dry and they've gone straight on at turn three. Uh, so Jack Buckley, uh, the 2-1-0 from Ireland, is battling away with the 
226 and Marcus Gloom. You've also got uh, Hugo Gillette, Jules Van Hul. Uh, Van Hul has made up 10 places from 21st and is one position outside of the top 10. And again, Jules Van Hul has plenty of experience around this circuit. So track knowledge here at Karting Genk is very, very crucial. Uh, however, nine carts, according to the timing screen, have retired. That is a rate of attrition I did not expect on the opening heat. Uh, we've lost Matisse Mascot, Thomas Van Vliet, Miracle Waters, and then Lucas Horacica, uh, Conor Grant, Thibaut Gillard, Casper Norman, Rima Blanc, and Martin Guillou. So we are down to 26 runners and riders here, Simon. Um, not ex I, I was hoping... OK, yes. Sometimes when we don't see severity of accidents or we don't see repetitive amounts of accidents, sometimes it can be just as simple as someone's hit the back of somebody else and mounted the rear bumper, hit the, back, hit the exhaust and has caused damage to the front of their car. But this is a really, really close battle. Jack Buckley sideways on the curbing whilst trying to hang on to the 2-1-0 uh, uh, just behind uh, Hugo Gillard and uh, Marcus Gloom. So this is a battle for 8th, 9th, 10th, uh, 11th is Jules Van Hoon. Tobias Norman rounds out the top 12 and Thibaut Weyer is uh, rounding out uh, the rest of the gaggle there. That's up to 13th, but Clément Outron in the TB Cart 269 uh, doing a stellar job and is just about to come up to back marker traffic here, Simon, uh, which might be, uh, that's probably more than likely going to be Angelo Milly. Oui, les leaders qui vont euh, pratiquement euh, revenir sur un des pilotes là-bas. Euh, ouais, il est encore loin. Euh, oui, c'est Angelo Meli qui euh, ferme pour l'instant euh, la, la marche. Alors on a vu euh, voilà, les leaders passer devant Angelo Meli, effectivement, euh, qui était euh, là euh, dans le trafic. J'essayais je, de le repérer un peu plus loin euh, sur le tracé, mais le groupe de tête est passé devant Angelo Meli, effectivement. Le groupe de tête, toujours euh, emmené euh, par Clément Outran devant Alessandro Tulisca est devant Loritz Sachs euh, alors qu'il reste maintenant une poignée de secondes, moins d'une minute au chronomètre en quatrième position, vous ne le voyez pas encore à l'image mais on retrouve Sam Balota, euh, le leader du championnat qui limite donc euh, pas mal les dégâts dans cette euh, première manche qualificative, attention à l'attaque de Loritz euh, Sachs qui passe devant Alessandro Tulisca, changement de position donc pour la deuxième place Alex Yeah, so another change, Clement Outron uh, still holding on to the race lead. Uh, Loris Saxer, the uh, Danish driver for Falcon Racing, holding on to now second, having got past uh, Alessandro Turiska. Uh, Sam Balota now has the fastest lap of the race of 54.720. He's 5.6 seconds away from this battle. But then going back to that battle for eighth backwards, well, between Marcus Gloom, Jack Buckley, well, it's... Marcus Gloom, Jack Buckley, Jules Van Hul, as now Loris Saxer trying to get through uh, on Clément Outron as we are on the final lap. The battle from 8th <laughs> all the way down to 14th. It was like a peloton at the Tour de France. And of course, close wondering, yes, Tour de France is going on. Change for the lead. Loris Saxer through on Clément Outron. And now the dogfight begins with half a lap remaining. So Clément Outron retakes the race lead down the Europe Alain. Uh, Saxa, uh, I think, pretty much just let him through, to be honest with you. The way that they were all nearly tripping up over each other's shoelaces, it was a case where well, Laurent Saxa could have said, well, no, I'm not going to let Clément Tom get past. Uh, neither do I want Alessandro Tudisca to do the same. But the opening heat for X30 Senior, groups A versus D, is now going to be in the books. The chequered flag will wave, and it's Clément Outron who takes the opening heat of the weekend here at round three. Head of Loris Saxa, Alessandro Tudisca. Points leader Sam Balota takes fourth. Head of uh, Milan Marczak with Paul Sitter, Clovis, Nog uh, Clovis Nagahoid uh, running at the top six. Charlie Gloom takes seventh. Head of Marcus Gloom, Jack Buckley, Jules Van Hul, Tobias Norman, Thibaut Viers, who made up 13 places from 25th on the grid. That's uh, finished 12th. Head of Nicolas Simic uh, with Hugo Gillard. And I'm looking between Marcus Gloom and Hugo Gillard, the gap was. 2.9 seconds. So very, very close between them. Reese Newburn rounded out the top 15 ahead of Dinan de Vos. Luke Taylor, Florent Derda, Matteo van der Kerkhofer up from 34th to finish 19th. Uh, with Jiro van Dori van Vorda 20th, making up 11 positions because of the rate of attrition we've had in this first heat. 
Uh, Kane Ince, Livia Sampson, uh, Dennis Bowman, Eli uh, Emilio Van Offerberger, and Charlotte Antoho, uh, and Angelo Mili being the last of the classified finishers, ending up lap down, having been lapped by the top three by the checkered. Matthias Moscout, Thomas Van Vliet, Mirko Walters, Lucas Horsica, Connor Grant, Thibaut Gelad, Casper Norman, Rima Blanc, and Martin Guillou, unfortunately, retired early from the race.